Hello everyone, um, I am Alamgi Hussain. I will talk about the Octave tutorial. So that is in my video, um, you can learn how to use the Octave programming language. So Octave is a high level interpreted language and this is primarily used for numerical computations. And yeah, this is a tool of data visualization and manipulation. Octave language is quite similar to MATLAB. So, in uh, when you install Octave, you can see this this view. This is screenshot. So, you can install Octave, or you can use Jupyter notebook. And in your Jupyter notebook, you can include the octave kernel so if you are interested uh, to use octave using the jupyter notebook then you can install the octave kernel using this link this is the octave kernel github link so here the common you can use it and you can install you can include the octave kernel in your jupyter notebook okay so this is the link of my github link so in here all jupyter files are uploaded so you can you can see my jupyter uh, jupyter files uh, in all, all of the tutorials okay this is the contents that is the basic operations i will show the basic operations of uh, octa i will talk about the functions and the conditions loops plots and later on if i will get time then i will also talk about some numerical methods even the complex function now first uh, so you need to install octave so if you you can install octave they uh, go to this link okay so this is the gnu octave so you can download in from here and you can install from here or you can install the Jupyter notebook okay so I uh, in my uh, computer I uh, installed the Jupyter notebook just you need to open the terminal and okay Ju Jupyter notebook so then this will pop up your browser so first I need to go to the folder where uh, okay so now this is a basic Jupyter basic octave file this file okay so in here you can see uh, in the Jupyter notebook when you install the Jupyter notebook usually Python Jupyter note uh, Jupyter is a Python Python IPython notebook so in here say new there's a notebook so when you install usually python 2 will install in your notebook then i also include another mm, kernel so if you when you install the jupyter you may not see the octave right so you need to install the octave and you need to include the octave kernel okay okay so the basic thing is like okay we can use uh, the octave as like a calculator for example the sum of two numbers or division subtraction right or multiplication or the square of two numbers right okay or any scientific computer uh, calculator is like okay trigonometric function sine cosine right 10 10 pi you know about the pi value right so these are the short format that is uh, uh, the short format we can we can use long format then see for example the pi value it will give the long format value or uh, if we use again short format then we can see the pi value is uh, again the small <coughs> excuse me we can use log and log this means like log e base uh, e base log logarithm Mm, we can use the 10 base logarithm so that is 10 base 10 is uh, 10 we can use the um, hyperbolic function or when you when you want to see the output of a function for example we need to press 
shift and interact uh, at the same time uh, then you can you can see the result okay say so, 10 hyperbolic function and also you can find the square root of a value number uh, we can also we can also define uh, we can also assign a variable like okay this x equals to 4 so x equals to 4 this 4 will store as an x uh, we can use semicolon uh, at the end that is if we do not include the semicolon it will show the result right uh, okay so when we assign a variable we use a variable say for example x1 equals to this then we can use the x1 in another expression for example like this expression right so in here like answer is 12 like uh, the second expression we do not assign any variable so the uh, answer is 4 if we use the ands uh, so then it will it will pop up this 12 number right for example if we say okay this is like y1 this is the new variable so then we can see this y1 is 12 right yeah so uh, uh, this is the some basic operations for for up top okay next video i will show you uh, the vectors and matrix thank you